but no, nah, I, I get you. I can really, I can really get it. Like, I can, I can walk in my front door and have to leave in ten minutes, shower, and change, and be out the door in ten minutes. I can do that too. I can used you? To do, I used to do that like before school. Yeah, I would, I would have to leave at eight ten. I would wake up at eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, and just get right to it. Dude, but I, I didn't look great. Yeah, but I looked good enough. But the the only thing though is I like so like if it like today I had to do it. You don't have any zen, do you? No. Damn. Damn, go get some. Um, to, to, today I had to do it, and um, cause I was cause I went to the gym before work, but like, I like if I can plan what I'm gonna wear, uh huh, before time, ten minutes. Like if you have an outfit, outfit picked out the night before. Yeah. No. Yes. Sure. You can make it. You can make me sound like a little three year old. I appreciate that. How you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Woo! Yeah, I know. It's been a minute. You do, hate when do, I do that. Do, do, <laughs> have you stopped doing that yet? No. Why? Why is it bad? It's just annoying. For you. <laughs> that's not how you that's not who you are though. What do you mean? You're not I bring, that person. I bring the energy sometimes. Yeah, but like Okay, so Billy Billy goes on stage and he goes, he they're like, Billy Hockey gets the mic, he's like, Woo! <laughs> that's not how I do it. Yes. I, I, I do Woo! It. What up? That's what I do. If we put the cadences and the sequences right back to back, you just did the same exact thing. No, that I, I didn't. Did. You nah. just didn't. Real like ones, it. no. You didn't like how it sounded. Realize, recognize, realize. How's that go? I don't know. But realize, either. realize, realize. Ooh. Real eyes, realize, never heard realize, realize. Okay. You've never seen that shirt before? No. Usually a fat guy's wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fat guys have some interesting t shirts. Yeah. They, you found that? Yeah, the t shirts. They don't are, wear plain shirts because yeah. I guess if they wore a plain shirt, you'd focus on how fat they were. So Maybe. they put like a big a saying on their shirt. So you, yeah. So instead of That's, thinking about how fat they are, you think about, you know, the phrase on their shirt. Yeah. They're like, no days off. Like, you, <laughs> you don't have any days on. You, need to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need to step it up. You need some broccoli. But yeah, no, that is very true. When I was super fat, I used to get the widest, the widest, like, uh, picture on like on my front you know uh, like an mlb picture no like just like the oh, picture yeah what picture you said picture you know, yeah but that's how i talk you're autistic okay so here we go you ready ready All five right. four three two one no no, no. one so two three four you, five you gotta really focus billy are you focused right now? i am focused okay i'm locked seven eight nine six two seven eight nine six two what you got it mm-hmm I'm seven eight nine six two I'm gonna ask you that at the end of the, the end of the episode. Oh, yeah. Fully. I can't write it down. No, what the <laughs> fuck? Obviously. You forgot it already, didn't you? No, I know. Seven eight nine six two. Yeah, don't write it down. I'm not going to. All right. Yeah, but what is it? What's the prize if I remember it? Um, there's no prize. I just want to see. I just want to. So that just that check will where change um, how good I am at it if you don't give me motivation. You know what I mean? No, I don't. If there was something in it for me, like if you were like if you don't, you remember could say that you could say I'm like, like hey, I'm family. smart. You could say like I'm okay. smart. No, I'm just saying there's. There's different incentives you can give to people. I will tell people that you have a good memory. That's that's worth more than anything uh, no, I, I can agree. give you. I agree. That's worth something. It's not worth more than anything, but yeah, I agree. Not it's more, worth something. Worth than anything, but you forgot it already. No, I didn't. Seven, eight, nine, six, two. All right. What is good? Right, the more gonna... you make me repeat it, the more likely it is I'm going to remember it at the yeah. end of the show. I'm trying to get the photographic memory going. What up, folks? How are you? Welcome back to the shop. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah. Damn. Where Has you been, been at? I've been, I've been. You around. had a few friends from the port in town. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. We went to the bathhouse. That was awesome. Why don't you give your hometown a little shout out? Seeing as the little league yeah, World Series shout out just... the shout out the Little League World Series, um, home of the Little League World Series, <laughs> baseball, baseball's there. Williams little sport kids, is the word you're looking for, Williams Williams sport. Sport. Little kids from all around the world come together and they play against each other head to head to see who the best country is this year florida took it america won extra inning baseball game it's a very good game shout out williamsport now we can go back to being irrelevant we beat japan right yeah japan finally we got our revenge no for... Chinese chinese tape what's that china is that a type of pudding in china no but maybe probably yes oh they weren't japanese are you sure yeah they were chinese I, I saw on twitter they were japanese no they were it's the chinese tape i just feel like you don't know you don't know you can't tell didn't you take an Ancestry.com one time test one time? No, never. Why no. would I do that? It's just going to be like, going to go three generations back. And it's going to be like, we don't know. <laughs> Why? What you don't else? think it can go further? Probably. Oh, wait, they probably can't. They could probably How do they do that? Roots. And they could just make stuff up. 
I, I, I think they just make it up. They definitely could. Like, how would they know, based on your DNA, where what country your parents are from and their parents are from? That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I mean, so I, like, do, does my does is there, there's no such thing as Irish DNA, right? There's just there's just people that lived in a place that we named Ireland, but that's not like you can't look at a DNA test and be like, this is Irish blood. There's no such yes. thing as Irish blood. Or Jamaican blood. Yeah, you don't know anything about what you're really. But saying. am I? Have I said anything incorrect so far? <laughs> no, no. Is there such thing as Irish blood? It sounds right. Probably. It's S- whiskey. What? There's whiskey in it. Sure. You know. That's not insulting. Are you Irish? Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but you ha- you have the characteristics of an Irish person. Okay, d- fill in the blank with if you don't want to use Irish, use something else. There's no such thing as any t- any country. There's no such thing as like Greek blood. It's just people that live in Greece, like you know what i mean but there has to be something like an, like i think they're just guessing they might they they definitely could be guessing they're just guessing that like oh all these characteristics were shared by a bunch of people in greece so you're probably greek something like that yeah that makes sense that makes sense i hate science so much this is what i was thinking about the other day you remember in school when they taught us not really they like i i think the earth is round <laughs> the fact that you even have to say it like that tells me that you didn't, didn't think but that. But do you remember sure. when they taught that, okay, so the Earth rotates around the sun, right? Yes. And then while the Earth is rotating around the sun, the Earth is also spinning, they said? Yes. I think I would notice if the Earth was spinning. No. But then they go, oh, it's, spin- it's spinning so fast you can't even tell. We have a gravitational. Well, then, then it's not spinning. <sighs> Don't you th- that sounds like something I would tell like my nephew, my four year old nephew, if he's like, if we're on the playground and he's like, I thought you were gonna go on the monkey bars. I'd be like, oh no, I went. I just went so fast you couldn't even see me. I think they just make stuff up. I swear that and the Big Bang theory, I'm convinced is made up. Billy, we have a gravitational pull. You we can, we you see that that's that keeps us down. That's why we don't see us spinning. You see the ocean. Waves. Explain to me the gravitational pull thing. How that affects the spinning. That's what. This is why it feels like we're not moving because we're being sucked down. But what does that have to do with spinning? Because, like, we're the the energy of us is going down. So, like, not my energy. My energy is going up thanks to this delicious coffee. <laughs> is that really coffee though? I feel like you're just like using that. I don't want any. What do you drink? Black coffee? This one has a little cream in it. A little cream in it? Kind of normally like, I, do drink, like you. I do drink black coffee, yes. Kind of like you, a little bit of sugar. No sugar. A little bit of sugar in the tank. <laughs> Ain't no sugar in it. Bubba got a little bit of sugar. Sugar's a great nickname, though. Sugar? Come hey, here. what up, sugar? No, who for who? Who would that be a good a nickname A little a shorty. Sugar? Yeah, you call your shorty sugar? Sugar, sugar, how you get so Hey, come fly. here, sugar. Do you know that song? Yeah, sugar, Ray Charles. Sugar. <laughs> What's your favorite Ray Charles song? Um, I don't really know much. I don't know anything about Ray Charles. You don't, you you don't really you're not really in touch you're in touch with black culture like really at all. It's actually I mean, not. No, 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 no. I no, would no. not consider myself yeah. an expert on black culture. Yeah, no. no. You you don't know I don't claim to be. Okay, let me I'm I do gonna... prefer Cocoa Pebbles over Fruity Pebbles. Okay, what? Why? What because it's, that's a color thing. No, the taste. I prefer the taste of cocoa pebbles over fruity pebbles. What's that have to do with black culture? Because I don't know. It's just what popped into my head, so I said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. Okay, we're gonna really see if like how, like how we gotta really figure. Yeah, this test out, my really. black culture knowledge. Go ahead. Okay. All right. I think I I think I am above average in terms of white guys. This is this, no 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 no. You're no? not though. I no. think you're low. I honestly Maybe I do. Am. I think you're low. Okay. So the bully in the movie Friday. What was his name? Oh, well, timeout. Can I call timeout? No. There's no timeout there, Billy. Okay, Friday is a movie starring Cat Williams, right? I mean, there's a lot of other people. Well, so you don't my know. point, when I, if you just allow me to call timeout, my point would have been that you could quiz me on white movies and I wouldn't know. So it's not like necessarily that is not. That, I swear. But that's not true, though. It is true. Old school? I don't know. People quote old school to me all the time. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I think I saw it like 12 years ago, but I don't really remember. Yeah, but it, it's a different thing. Okay, so um, that's like saying like musically okay yes i know a lot more about white music than black music that is true yeah but movies movies i don't think it's a black white thing i think i just don't know anything about movies that's my point 
No, food. No, I'm not, food. I'm I don't not know anything that. about black food. I I'm will. not taking that, Billy. There's, there's, you, you have to know who I'm. Um, Debo, Debo Samuel, star, star wide receiver for the 49ers. <laughs> Jerry Rice, another African American, played for the 49ers. I'm gonna give you one more fucking shot. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna give you one more shot. All okay. right. All right. Let's do this, Billy. All right, we're, we're about to get. Guess who's back? We're about to get back again. You ever notice that on every album Eminem releases, he's always back? <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> Why are you always back? He's Eminem? always back. Okay, name guess three who's things. Back. Uh, let me guess. No, don't is try it to. You, Marshall, trying to get away from this, from from this, from these questions. <laughs> then Eminem's like, Nah, it's not me. It's name Slim three Shady. things. <laughs> name three things on an African American Thanksgiving plate. Ooh. Other than a turkey, cornbread. No. Come on. No cornbread? No. I mean, maybe. Okay, cornbread. Go ahead. We'll take cornbread, we'll cornbread for sure. Yeah. Uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. We do mac and cheese. Okay. And then what, what can I? I can't say turkey. Yeah, said? no turkey. Can I say other meats? No. All right, fine. Uh, there's one that you guys really like. I forget. Grits? Yeah, you're racist. No, you're not racist. I don't want to say String that. bean casserole? No, Billy. <laughs> yams. What? Yes. Yams. Boom. Yams. Okay. Boom. You got it. And uh, collard greens. Yams That's city. That's the one. Collard greens. Collard greens. Yeah, we be you know saying. I'm excited for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat some. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I was speaking with Maybe we should do some gratitudes. Some gratitudes? Okay. What are you grateful for? I'm thankful for my friends. My friends have been looking out for me recently. My friends have really been stepping up and helping me out, and I think I know I'll why. I'll be there for you, you. That- when the rain starts to pour. Oh, that's the Friends theme song. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, I know <laughs> white stuff. You don't know black stuff. Well, because if I lived in Africa, I would probably know more black culture. You live in white America. I don't know if that made sense, but I, I feel it, like it I feel like it black people does, are but- forced more to be a part of white culture. And we are not forced to be a part of black culture. Right or wrong. Probably wrong. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm thankful for my friends. Seriously. Don't you appreciate somebody who's just not pretending to, like, to be any like, type of I, Those white guys who are like, oh, I'm a big hip-hop fan. It's like, you know what? You might have forced yourself to like hip-hop, but I feel like if you're honest in your bones, like if if if, if you were in a coma, right? And we played country music or we played rap music and we just waited for like which one would wake you up? Country music is gonna wake you up if you're a white guy. Absolutely. Oh, if you're a white guy? If you're a white guy. That's just in your bones. That's just what you're gonna respond to. I think white some there's a lot of white guys out there pretending to like like nineties hip hop. I think I think Don't you think that? No, John Cena was talking about it. Um he was, I'm not saying all of them, but there's yeah. a lot of them. John Cena was he he was doing an interview with Shannon Sharp and he was saying that he got made fun of. You know he was a rapper. So he got made fun of because he I'm felt, sure it was really good. He felt like he was a reject because like, you know, b- like rap is about like being like, you know, F the police, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like being different. Mm-hmm. And that's what he that's what he was, but yeah, let's get off the What's race. his background? He's from Boston and he, you know, he 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 pretty much had a pretty horrible life and then he you know started doing steroids and then got famous. Mm, I wish we had a looker upper right now. Why? So I could learn more about John Cena's background. I just told you. He's white. He's from Boston. Yeah, he's but he seems like one of those big guys who's like a pussy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what Probably. I mean? Probably. I mean, I wouldn't mess with him, but but yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, gra- Gratitude, your turn. Oh, gratitude. I said, yeah, you cut me off, but I said friends, really. I, I love my friends. Would you like to go into detail at all on how your friends have been looking out, stepping up for you? Um, just, you know, just, just being there for me, you know, like, like, like people, like, people were like, people were like invite me places or like help me with things. And I think I realize what it is for me. And I think it is, I am a place of comfort for a lot of people. So people reciprocate that in other ways. And I really enjoy, like my cousin hit me up, like, yo, come to Fire Island. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was huge. For you know what I'm saying? That was so much fun. Like this weekend, my my friend and his brother hit me up. I was like, "Yo, come to the bathhouse," and like you know, we had like a spa day, and it was great. Like Derek Dresser, Der- Derek Dresser, he was like, "Yo, what size shoes do you wear?" It was a ten and a half. He gave me free shoes. Wow. 
and it's just like you're on quite a run. Yeah, like and I and I and I feel like it's the summer of Mac. Like I, I've and I feel like it's I feel like it's because I make people you know like I feel like it's not just like like me like you know like mooching like I feel like it's like me like giving like my energy is is like people look at me as a real friend mm -hmm. as a you real get what person. you put in yeah gratitude reciprocates yeah. that's why we do this right thank you what do, what are you what are you uh thankful for what am I thankful for? I'm thankful. I just knocked it out of the park, by the way. So I this know, is a tough backup. I know, I know. Now this I'm going to try to be serious. I'm going to try to give you a good one. My family, I'm thankful for them. I'm no, going to no, see no, them no. this weekend. What? I can't say my family? That's so corny. You said, you said that every time. Okay, yeah, no, no, good. I want to hear about your family, actually. I, I, yo, your brother, I, mess, I like your brother. Your brother's cool. He's the man. Well, how, how do you know Oh, uh, he just. I just look at his Instagram sometimes, and he, uh, he like, follows me on Instagram. He's the yeah. He's yeah. the ultimate. Yeah, yeah. He's the older brother. Oh yeah, he's okay. older. He's got three children. Whoa. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see him all this weekend at a wedding. Oh, nice. Where's the wedding? Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, you ever been there? No, I don't want to. It's go. a very colorful city. All of the buildings are like pink and light blue and yellow. And then I remember when I went there, people were like, "Make sure you stay safe in Charleston." Dangerous, right? It was dangerous. Yeah, uh, that's what they said. But then the dumpsters are hot pink. I'm like, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I think they all have like uh, bubble letters on them. They say like trash. Um, <laughs> it's very demure. <laughs> demure. Do you know that? By the way, Clyde it continues every day. He posts something demure on his Instagram. He uses the word demure. Very cute. <laughs> very demure. I hate it. Very mindful. I hate it so much. It's so funny. Why? Can you define the word demure? Demure, it's it's being modest. That's basically what it is. Shy. Not really shy. No, but I'm like, telling you. Yeah, it is. That's what that's so that's what you think it is? That's what the definition is. It's like going it's like going to church. Shy, modest, yes. Okay. Like going to church like being like, you know, without your cleavage out. That's kind of what it is. But yeah. <laughs> that's that should be standard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I feel I feel very demure sometimes. Feel very mindful most of the times. Okay. So, yeah. Do you, so you're trying to get like you're trying to be you're trying to immerse yourself in like the hot girl culture. That, is that what it is? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that, but I do. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Yeah. You're trying to speak their language. Yeah, yeah, I am. I I love I love I love everything that's going on right now with <laughs> girls. Woman empowerment, you know, female Demure. artist. Yo, uh, Chapel Roan. Oh, I'm all Who's over that. I don't know who that is. You don't oh, know. Let me guess. I don't know black culture. No, so. she's white. Oh, okay. She's white. H O T T O G O. Oh, is that the thing you posted today? No, that was hot, though. That was hot, though. Who was that? What to play that? I don't know. You don't know Chapel Roan. Oh, so you don't know any culture. You don't know anything. You don't know <laughs> that's any That's what I was trying culture. to tell you. Oh. Okay, that yeah. makes more sense now. Yeah, I get I don't know it. Now. So you were. Just... I know. I know. Like my guys. I know Kings of Leon. I know Adam Sandler's got a new special out. They're all tomorrow. 80. They're all eighty years <laughs> I don't old. Care. That's I all don't you see know. Age. Kings of Leon's like forty. My gosh! Wait, Adam Sandler dropped. Isn't a it special? weird? Don't you find it weird to like be a fan of somebody who's like twenty one? Isn't that weird to you? Especially when it's like music and they're singing about life. And their perspective on things, I guess that's yeah. weird. Twenty-one year old, like, shut up. Yeah, I, I hate talking to young people. I'm like, what are you that's talking why about? young people aren't really good at stand up. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. That is true. You know, that's they're why really... most stand ups break when they're like thirties and forties, because then people are finally willing to listen to you. Yeah, people want to know, and you actually have something to say. Yeah, I don't want to hear about you know a little like talking about like you know a, your like condoms yeah your problems you know 23 yeah i don't hear about that uh what did you yeah. want to be when you grew up when you were a child what did i want to be other than a, other than an athlete other than a baseball player i really wanted to be i wanted to be a cop i knew you were going to say that Why? i thought you were going to say cop or firefighter because you yeah. have like a oh, i'm going to help people instinct yeah yeah I, I wanted to be a cop um yeah because i wanted to help you got people. a hero inside of you yeah that's a Definite fact. Um, yo, I was thinking about something really cool, but I'll finish this. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to be a cop because I wanted to help people. And, you know, I watched all the movies. Like, you know, they're just Jackie Chan, dude. 
mm-hmm. like just wrecking stuff. Yeah, like yeah. For Shanghai all, Nights. Yeah, Shanghai Nights. I never saw that, but yeah. But uh, oh, dang it, but, that movie is good. Is it mm-hmm. okay? Maybe Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson's in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta watch that. You look like Matthew McConaughey, by the way. I just Thank realized you. that. That's I don't know. Okay, but um, that's for sure a compliment. But is it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the guy was rated like the sexiest man alive. Well, then you look like his retarded little. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I actually meant. That's what I actually meant. But um, yeah, I wanted to be a I wanted to be a cop because you know I wanted to like help people and you know I wanted to slide on top of cars. Like I thought I was gonna like save bad guys, and then like I got older. <laughs> Wait a second, then, you thought you were gonna save bad guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, no. Like get get rid of bad guys, and then I got older and I started watching cops, and I'm like, oh, that don't look like. What the show? I, yeah, I was like, that don't look like How what good I was that do. show. That was a great That's show. That's peak television right there. That was definitely, yeah. That was you know good. what my favorite Hilarious. cops moment is? What? I don't do drugs. I am drugs. Oh, you know I one? saw that. Yeah, the, he was crazy. Crazy yeah, yeah, eyes. Yeah. That was good. You ever see anyone like uh, they try to give them a breathalyzer and they like take it like a shot? <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's best so when funny. they get somebody on there who's just like, who just admits everything right away. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, yeah, I was going down there to buy some crack, and then I showed up, and <laughs> there wasn't no crack there. And she was dead. It, it's also it's, al- <laughs> it's also funny. When and then the cops were like, you're under arrest, and they're like, all right, where'd I go? Yeah, yeah, they just, they just don't care. It's also funny when police officers get, get pulled over, because they're just like, listen, I'm, I'm drunk, but, like, you know, I'm a cop, and they're just like, you're going to jail tonight. And they do crazy. that on cops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They send, they send cops to jail. I've never seen that. You would think that the... The maybe. show would want to protect them. Maybe, but the, man, really. oh, man. They, that was a big tragedy to come out of the um, not to get political out of the 2020 stuff is they took cops off the air. They took cops off the air because of politics. It, I th- it was basically in response to um, like after George Floyd and all the protests and stuff. Oh, yeah. Then they took cops off the air. That's it, interesting. For just, whatever reason, I don't know exactly the reason given, but I think it had a lot to do with that. That's messed up because that's how in the hood we found out what not to do, watching cops. Yeah, that's like watching game film. Yeah, that's hood. watching game <laughs> film. You know, <laughs> wouldn't you love to be a part of a police chase? I always thought that would be so fun. Like if I could invent an amu- if I had my own amusement park, I wouldn't make roller coasters. I would make a big amusement park where. When you get in, uh, you sign up for, like, a police chase. Okay. <laughs> so you just get chased by the cops, and you see if you can get away. I always thought that would be a lot of fun to try and get away from the police. I think I could do it. Yeah, you wouldn't get shot at, though. Wait, you, yeah, you would. You do Let's look, not make this a race you, thing. You do just, a I'm just crazy. saying, like. But it is a race thing. But, yeah, you do look a little crazy. I would shoot the shit out of you. <laughs> if I was chasing you, I would fucking pop your shit off. Well, you're a cop, so. The you're 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 gonna try not to shoot me. You're gonna try to just apprehend me first. Yeah, cops are pretty slow and unathletic. I'm talking about like in cars too. Oh, in cars. Oh, like you want. That's like my do amusement the... park. Is you get to be in a car and then there's gonna be cops chasing you and you got to try to get away. Oh, yo, that would be fun, like an right? escape room kind of. But like you know, you have to like outsmart the cops and like do and like do yeah, like yeah, certain yeah. things. Yeah, that's good. That's be lit, right? Yeah, I like that. What do you want to be when you were a kid? I also wanted to wanted to be an athlete. Okay. Uh, and then once you found out you weren't going to be in second grade, what, what happened? That was eighth grade. <laughs> I happened? thought I was going to be in the NBA for a long time. What ha- what happened? What, what was the is what happened? Uh, I'll tell you what happened, Clyde. One, I think uh, maybe I was in ninth grade, uh, eighth grade or ninth grade, and I went to Madison Square Garden for the this every year they would have an inaugural, uh, like opening weekend or opening tournament to start to kick off the season at Madison Square Garden. And so I went one time and there was two games in the same day, so you, but you just bought one ticket. And so North Carolina was playing the second game, that's who I was there to see. So a lot of people that bought tickets to go see the first game just left. So anyways, there was a bunch of empty seats in the lower bowl. So when I got there for the second game, we just went right down and sat and not our seats in yeah. the lower bowl. So I was like eight rows up at Madison Square Garden watching North Carolina play like Michigan State or something like that. And then I just saw those guys at like eye level grabbing rebounds above the backboard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Really? That's what happened? That's what happened. Oh, man, that wouldn't have crushed me. (laughs) I would have been still trying. That's that's Well, no, I was realistic. 
Yeah. It took me to Which college. is a shame because, yeah, if I'd have just not gone to that game, maybe I still would have had confidence. <laughs> you would have played, uh, you know, D2 or something? I played AAU. Yeah. What, what, happened, what happened with me is I was, I was like, so I was, I was playing in college. I, I tried out for West Virginia, which is a D1 school. For basketball? Baseball. Oh, okay. Absolutely say. not. So, so I, I, I tried out, walked on, and, and, you know, like I was playing and stuff, and then I was just like, like these, like they were just throwing the ball from third base just so hard, and I was like, "Oh, I'm not going." I'm not it's the going. same thing. Yeah, the same thing. I was like, "I'm not going professional." Like, like I remember the coach told me to lay down a bunt, missed it. Told me to lay down another <laughs> bunt, missed it. He was like, "Okay, swing away." He didn't want me into a double play. Rope the ball up the middle. Dude dives, glove flips it. They turn two on me, and I, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm, just, I'm <laughs> wasting my time here." I was like, "Yeah." Down the first baseline, kept running all the way out of the ballpark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Dang. that was bad. What were you, oh, Baseball yeah, so, seems like the hardest one to make it pro in. Yeah, because there's like so many leagues Just, and stuff like that. But no, basketball is by far. They pick sixty guys a year. Baseball picks like four hundred. Yeah, but I'm saying to get on an MLB, like to to not be in the minor leagues, to be in the majors, it seems like the hardest one. Basketball is way harder. But what what would you would you want to be? So so after that, what would you want to be? I thought about being a garbage man for a while. Oh, what, dude? It, doesn't it look so fun? No, I mean, yeah. You get to does. ride on the back of the truck, and then no. just the act of throwing the trash into the back of the truck looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, we'd be And then for a while, it. I wanted to be a farmer. A farmer? Mm -hmm. This was when I was in college. I took no steps to becoming a farmer, but in my head, I was like, that seems like it'd be fun. To grow what? Like, just I just, I would just think it's, it would be a nice life to just, like, I'm not afraid of hard work at all. Unlike you, I'm here. That's not true. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but I don't like it. But there's there's like just hard work, and then there's complicated work. So farming doesn't seem like complicated work, you know? Yeah, I think you're wrong. Like for for comedy, it's like hard. It's not only do you have to work hard, but you have to like work hard in the right ways. You have to know where to spend your time. You have to be like strategic about your hard work and stuff. Yeah, and that's overwhelming to me sometimes. But farming is like just. Hey, wake up at four o'clock and go milk the cows. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun, but I can do it. it and sounds, it does sound fun. I take it, that back. It does kind of sound fun. Yeah. You get some goats, you yeah. know. You get all the like. You get to have a. You, you get a companionship with all the animals, and in a way that is not you know uh, delusional. Like people have pets now. So looking back, are you like? Yeah, I want to start was... drinking raw milk. By the way. Where do you it's get, good for you. Where do you get raw milk from? You can't get it in the grocery stores because there's like a – they passed a law that all of the milk has to be uh, pasteurized. pasteurized. So so you want to just find pregnant girls and do it that way? Squeeze me? You want to find pregnant girls and <laughs> no, do it No, I'd that like way? it to be from a cow. Oh, a cow? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever tried it before? Or are no. you just saying this? No, I just – I heard it's very nutritious. You know, it looks like pudding. Is it? Kind of, yeah. It's like is really, it liquid? It's, yeah, it's liquid. It's a, like really chunky. Have you ever had it? Mm -mm. How do you know what it looks Absolutely like? Absolutely not, because I like animals, and I've been to petting zoos and things like that where they where they've milked them. Mm. What's the uh, like craziest thing you've ever eaten? The craziest thing I ever eaten? I've eaten frog legs before. Probably nothing. I don't, I haven't really had anything. I want to try duck. Yeah, I haven't really ate anything. Duck's that not crazy. that wild. Yeah, I never ate anything really crazy. What about you? Hmm. Um, I wouldn't eat alligator. What? I wouldn't eat alligator. That's disgusting. It doesn't seem chewy. Wait, you, it does. It seems like rubbery. You had it? No. Oh, okay. Just saying, based on yeah, I wouldn't like it. I ate bugs when I was a kid. Bugs? Yeah. I made, I made a chocolate covered cricket. There you go. Yeah, but you never had anything like crazy. That never like at a like served to me at a restaurant or something like that. I don't think I've had anything. Crazy like you ever had like, like elk? Mm -mm. Mm, okay. I don't know why we don't eat stuff like that. Like, why why do we only eat chicken and cow? Mm. Why don't we eat like why isn't duck and elk more common? Why can't why don't we eat geese? There's like a gajillion geese out there, or pigeon. If I was homeless, I'd be killing pigeons like crazy and eating them. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, why 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 I don't understand. Why do we just pick certain animals to eat, and the other ones is like a rarity? Yeah, that's strange to me. That is strange. But you wouldn't want to eat a pigeon because Why not? They're, cause they're scavengers. You don't know they eat everything, so they're dirty. Yeah, yeah, but, but fire, know. fire uh, heals all wounds. I guess. 
What are you doing there? Are you eating your finger? Yeah. <laughs> I used to, when I first moved here, I was scared to get certain types of food that some people say might be sketchy sometimes because I was like, they could just never pay for food and just have a pigeon coop. Who's they? Sketchy food places. Mm-hmm. So you think that they're pretending that they're like food is chicken when it's really pigeon? Yeah, yeah. I think that they could do that so easily. And, and you know, some people like things like that. Pigeon. <laughs> You're being very cryptic. I'm not really sure what you mean. It's scary what I'm saying. Are you going to do my survivor pool? Probably not, no. Come on! I can't, I can't, I can't keep up with it, and it sounds crazy. There's too many people. There's like the, the, the options, like the the win. How many people are in it? Like forty five. And how many people win? One. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely not. It's winner take all. No, no, that sounds. It's like in order to to be the best, you got to beat the best. No, 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 I don't like that. I've been watching Suits though. You ever watch Suits? This is just a conversation for me and you. Just you could just say yes or no. No. Okay. You should watch it. But um, so Donald Trump Mm -hmm. is kind of saying that he kind of saying that he doesn't want to debate. There's a whole back and forth there. Yeah. I can't really tell if he wants to or if he doesn't. They're just playing games with each other like they're just negotiating for their preferred setting. Like which Kamala wants it to be on a certain network. I think she wants it to be on ABC. ABC, yeah. And Trump is like, I'll do any other network but ABC. Yeah. So they're all they're both acting like the other one doesn't want to debate mm-hmm. when really they're just having a pissing. They're, they're having an argument about if like if the mics are going to get muted. Yeah. Back it's and so forth. Dumb. I, but, I mean, think, Kamala won't even do an interview. To be honest, I think it's a horrible idea for Trump. Why? You think it's a good idea? Of course, it's a good idea. The guy has not lost a debate in the entire time he's been a politician. Listen. Anytime you put Donald Trump in front of a camera, he does well. Sorry. That is true, but he's never, like, like arguing with a girl in general as a man is just a huge mistake. You're going to say, he's going to say something, and she's going to turn it all the way over like all girls do when guys talk. We say, <laughs> we'll be making point after point after point after point. We'll say one thing, and they'll say, oh, so that's uh, what you want? That's, so that's what you, you meant feel? this whole? Yeah, so that's how you feel? It, it's just not a good but he, idea. But he smashed Hillary. Yeah, but oh, because she's a white woman. You think it, you think dating a uh, half Indian, half black woman is too much for him? I can, I can, no, I'm shit dating, debating, I debating. Say. Yeah, no, I mean, Hillary is a little bit different because she had like a lot of like like things going on and like a but, lot of a lot of ways to attack her. Yeah, a lot of ways to attack her. But I'm telling you, just with the like, if she, if Kamala hits Trump with a Kamala. bye, a bye boy. Like bye boy, <laughs> it's over. He's Trump's gonna get flustered. He's not gonna know what to do. Like I don't, I don't. How do you, think, I, how do you make that face that Trump makes? That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't think that it's a good idea for Trump to. It's always to, a good idea for Trump to debate. Always to always, debate. Always. A guy shouldn't debate a girl. In no. general, they're gonna lose. He's like he's gonna get over aggressive, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, so you're gonna hit me now?" Yeah, but then people, are, it's just, it's. It's for president. It's not for whose side are you taking in the divorce. It's for who wants to be president of the United States. I think people have a little bit more um, forgiveness for bullying. Because it's like, yeah, you want to be the president. You got to be able to take the heat. I'm not saying I want you to win. You know, you think Putin's going to be nice to her? Girls are historically... No, maybe not in like a real aspect, but girls are historically better at arguing. I've never won an argument with a girl (laughs) in my entire life. That's your problem. You haven't either. I, <laughs> you, you, I have. Is, That's why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you lost Because I'm too good at arguing. My gosh. Yeah, no. I That's think the price a, you pay to win arguments with a girl. you got to be willing to be sing, single, and I am. Trump. I'm a stubborn boy. Trump. Is this the camera I'm looking at? You can look at that one or that one. Trump. Talk to the Don. But he's not going to listen to you. You don't like him. Yo, he might. I mean, I, I never said. I, I think he's funny, but I don't. For him to be president, I don't, I don't, that's crazy. I don't, actually, I don't even care anymore. But listen, Trump. T Dog. T Dog. Got something to tell you. Guys, okay. No, about, wait, look at that camera, actually. Look at that camera? Why? Because yeah, uh, that's your ISO. Okay, that's my ISO. Yeah, yeah. Trump. 
guys can't be girls in arguments. Don't debate Kamala, especially not a especially not a a, a minority girl. Don't do it. You're gonna get ruined. It's over for you. What are you writing down? Keep talking. Listen, it's a bad idea. She's gonna like hit you with the bye boy. She's gonna spin everything that you say and you're gonna get flustered and you're gonna come off as aggressive and it's just not gonna work. Don't listen to him, T-Dog. He thinks you should debate him. I think that Billy is, I think it's the wrong move. It is not the wrong move. I think it's the wrong get, move. Give Donald Trump a microphone. Put him. Put him on TV. The guy crushes every I'm time. I'm telling you, she's gonna wreck him. She's like, no, and let, he, he's gonna like she's call her. She's pretty ugly. unlikable when he, she speaks. He's gonna call her like a whore or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. She's gonna call him a whore. It, I mean, she, what's it, done it, is done. They it, like, I don't know. When they debate, like, does anybody really make up their mind off the debate? I mean, how have you not? If it's between them two, how have you not made up your mind already? Who you're gonna vote for? I think there's people don't you that think still the, don't know. Really? Yeah. But what's a debate going to change that? I mean, look what happened to the Biden debate. That motherfucker got, he, he saw him debate. He's like, yo, you're gone. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, you can't do this. You know? I just don't understand how that works in politics where like like the DNC, the convention happens, and then people are like, oh, oh, the Republicans are in trouble. They had all these speakers, and they had Kamala gave a great speech, and now they're in trouble. It's like, who cares if she gave a great speech? The thing I don't is, understand. Like we have decades of records of both of their policies and what they've done. Like well, I don't. Why am I going to be swayed by a fifteen-minute speech? Yeah, I think the the debates can stop could stop people from voting though. Like they're like, I'm not voting for either of these people because of these debates. But who knows? I want to see it. Obviously, I want to see it. But I do. I think it's a good idea. I just want to fight. You want to fight, yo? I like, just. Uh, I'm done with. Like talking. Uh, Let's like stop talking. Hunger Games, right? Yes. You get teams of six. I'm kind of done with the whole America thing. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to fight. I just want to go. I want like a Lord of the Flies situation really bad. I really want a Lost thing to happen to me. You ever watch Lost? Lost? They all get in a plane crash and then they all end up on an island and then it's just Lord of the Flies. But then that turns into a... Um... A, like, it's just like let's go. Like I mean, let's go. Let's stop. You know, I was thinking. I was walking through Trader Joe's, and there's all these like little guys. <laughs> you know, these little guys in like their little jean shorts. <laughs> I'm just looking at them, and I'm like, "Why do I have to? I have to pretend like this guy. You know, like I can't just beat the shit out of my <laughs> <guy."> <laughs> like, Everybody that works at Trader Joe's, I could rob the entire store, and not a single person that works there could stop me. <laughs> that that's all that's of them factual. put together. <laughs> that couldn't right. stop me. You wouldn't even I throw could take punches. whatever I want from Trader Joseph's. Yeah. You could just stiff arm them, you know? I also wish I could delete. Do you ever wish you could just delete someone? Yes. There's this guy at the gym. He's just yelling the whole time. And I'm just like, yeah, I just wish I could just press. I wish I could just go up to him <laughs> and just press him down like that and he's gone forever. Like, but, like, what's it? He's, like, grunt, like, grunting as he lifts? No, no, no. He, he's, he's, like, he's, he's, like, training people. And he's like, come on, you got this. Four more. Uh, I'm like, bro, come on, bro. We're at Blink Fitness. Yeah, come on. Go Shut get your up. own private little room. Blink's going bankrupt, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think gyms are, are probably because waste of me. time. Probably because of me, because I've been sneaking in. So You don't pay? No. How do you I, get in there? Because I sneak. So what I do, I buy a month, and I cancel my membership right away. And then they give you a month and a half, and then I just like sneak in whenever I can if my membership goes off until they catch me, and then I pay. How do you sneak in? Just walk through. They know oh, and you don't like chat, sign yeah, in. Yeah, I don't gotta like. I just like I like I just fake my scanner. Can you just like uh, bribe the security guy or whatever the guy at the check in? Probably you can bribe anyone. Really, is he a brother? Is he a brother? Yeah, I don't know if I would use that term. Is he African American? No, I, w- I wouldn't use that either. I would just say, is he black? Is but he black? I would. Why? Because I think you have a better chance of being like, yo, brother. What do you say you let a brother in, pump some iron real quick? I don't, I don't know if that's true. White people. You don't think you have a better chance at bribing a black man than any other person? Than a white person? Just anybody. No. For for you, no. the, the highest percentage chance for you to bribe someone is if that person's a black man. Nah. No. Come on. No. no that's no, just no, true. No, no. White, white people like black people. White I'm people not saying like, every. I'm like not heavy. saying every black man is going to be better than every white man. I'm You're saying, saying me. In general. Me, like I'm like in general, you. No, 
no, no, no. Have probably if you're it's, if you're just picking randomly and you say what race I have to bribe someone, what race and what gender do I want this person to be? Are you telling me that you would not pick black man? No, I wouldn't pick anyone. What? Every, you have to pick someone. No, no, I it it'd be anyone. But no, 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 you have to damn. in this in my scenario that I've created. Damn, can you give me this clip of my arm? Yeah, yeah. If you say something funny here, <laughs> okay, here we go. No, no. In my scenario funny. that I have created, fuck you funny. have to choose. You have to bribe an individual. You okay. have to bribe someone. Okay, I have to. And bribe you have someone. to choose the race and the gender of that person. You have to successfully bribe them, and I'm giving you the chance to choose what race and gender that you want to try to bribe. It'd be a you're white telling guy. me that you would not pick a black man. No, it'd be a white guy. Why? Because what's the, there's a chance they're racist. Okay, there's a chance that the black guy is Obviously, like, but there's there, less of a there, chance that the black guy is going to be racist towards you than no, the white guy. No, 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 but the black guy's like, yo, you're not going to get over on me. I know what you're trying to do. I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like, you're not going to Yeah, but just, can't you be like, yo, because, man, they've been, they've been dogging us for so long, no, man. Help I could, a brother out. I do that to white people. I'm like, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, if, if, I, tell, if I tell a white person, like, yo, bro, I, like, and, I, okay. and I can't pay him, like, bro, I don't got time to do it right now. But like, all right, just go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And a black person would probably do the same thing. That's why I'm a little bit confused <laughs> about what's going on. But, but no, nah, I mean, I'm not letting no niggas in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's fair that a yeah. white guy would be like you you could guilt him into it. Yeah, yeah you yeah, wouldn't even have to use a 20, you could just use guilt to bribe him. Not even not even guilt is just that like uh let's role play that, okay? All right. All um, right. You you're trying to sneak into the gym. You have to get into the gym. You have to pump today. You have a date the next night. You need to pump. All right. So so what I'm happen- the white guy at the check-in. So what happens is you I don't, buzz. You, you're not paying. Is is, is you got to talk to me though. I I buzz. Okay, I buzz go ahead. and go ahead. I buzz, buzz and it comes up that I, that I haven't paid. No, no, but okay. All right. Uh, oh, hold up. Sorry. Um, do you have a membership? Yeah, yeah, I got a membership. I should, I should be good. Oh, last name? Uh, Mac. Mac. Yeah. Okay, let me just check here. Mac. Um. Oh, I'm seeing you had a membership, but it uh, it expired. Oh, it's last month. It expired when? Yeah. The, yeah. What? What last day? Last month. What day? Last month. Uh, the thirty first. Oh, oh, month. that shouldn't have been right. It should have automatically came out of my account. Excuse me? It should have automatically came out of my account to renew. Oh, Did there must have been that? some type of mistake. Oh, mistake? Oh. Just like slavery was a mistake. Okay. So, so we'll just call it even. I'll let you in, and we're good. That's weird, though. I wouldn't want to go in. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, never mind. I'm going to Harlem. <laughs> I'm going to Planet Fitness. you crazy. Oh, uh, man. Oh, no. I just thought about something. What? It's about to get cold. Mm-hmm. And the jail dudes are about to start coming back inside to the gym. Damn it! They're outside right now doing the pull-ups. Jail dudes, yeah, they're outside doing pull-ups and push. And you mean the guys who've right been now. to jail? Yeah, the guys that been the jail dudes that been to jail. They do all the jail park workouts. When it gets uh, cold, they come in the gym and they 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 they're horrible. They take all the weights. They put them all together. They're working out in groups of six. On there's two lat rows and they're they're in groups of six. I'm like, bro, y'all gotta get looser wife beaters. Like y'all got the tightest wife beaters <laughs> of all time. Like they come up to their waist. Like that's not a good sign. Dang, I'm sorry. Maybe you shouldn't go to the gym in the winter. No, yeah, right. I'm about to get husky this winter. You need to stop taking a uh, mirror selfies at the gym. Really? Yeah, my my guy friends hate that. I think the <laughs> girls girls might hate it too. Stop doing that and stop saying demir. Demir. Yeah. Okay. Those are I, two things you need. To work I gotta on. try. I gotta stop. I gotta stop bragging. Like, and I'm being so serious because people don't like it, and I could tell. But it, you're joking. I know, but it it kind of turned into my it, like. It seems like. My personality, and I'm so good at bragging. You are like I'm like the best at bragging. You're delusional. You're good at being delusional. I've noticed that playing basketball with you is you're completely delusional. <laughs> I have played you one on one six times. I beat you five out of those six times, and you you will still to my face to the camera. You'll try That's... to tell people you're better than me. It's delusion. Okay, it's straight up delusion. Okay, and then you'll be like trying to talk trash to me, and like I I don't even know how to respond because it's just. First off, you'll be like, you can't go left, and then I'll drive left easily. First off, slam dunk it over your head, and you'll be like, (laughs) First off, I let you be like, See, told you you can't go left. And I'm like, First off, I'd be on the same plan. First off, I'd be letting you hoop. See, I, 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 I like to let, I like to let you ball, 
But also, I'm telling you, once we get in a five on five game, you will really see what really what, what we what really ball is like. Oh, well, like, right you now, think, you, know, you think your game gets better five on five? I'm a distributor. I'm you put me in a situation where I got guys to kick it to. Sorry, me and Cerulli. I got Cerulli. Cerulli scored 43 points in the game I played. He, with he him. told me that. I don't know why he hit you up and not me. Because because I, I, I distribute. Was, I was a busting. Because I distribute. Yeah, because. Because it's a different style. So really, he's nice, that. but I'm, I'm a playmaker. He's a nice. Play he is a ba- he's a bag. I, let me tell you something. On this this night, the, he couldn't miss. Yeah, could not miss. But I Buckets. was busting his. I was busting his ass the other day. I'm not gonna hold you. I can't <laughs> even walk from softball the other day. Let me Ooh, yesterday. Yeah. My body. Dude, fucked I. Up. I don't. I don't know if it's just I'm almost thirty, but I swear I can't like try hard at anything. If <laughs> I try hard, I just the next day is brutal. I think it's like I don't know if it's the vaccine or if it's just age or fluoride or what it is. We're just less active. Damn, it is age. But dude, I'm I'm in pretty good shape. Like I exercise pretty much daily. Yeah. And then I don't know. I play softball. I play basketball. The next day, done. I, I'm done. Damn it. It's so it's it's frustrating. Oh my god, it's only gonna get worse. But then I thought about it and I was like, I think I'm just I'm going at full speed, and like I can't do that anymore. Oh I think that's what God, it is. It's so bad to think about. I think about that too. I'm like, what is this? I understand baseball because you know you're going from stopping like, to sprinting. I just watch other guys play, and I I'm like, I'm like man, that guy's really like taking it easy. He's like going seventy percent, and then I, but now I'm like, oh, it's because that's what we have to do now. Because I go like full sprint. Like if the ball's hit over my head in softball, I'm like, yeah, to try to get it, and then I watch other guys like lollygag to the ball and I get frustrated but now I'm realizing that there's a reason for that we're we're getting to the I just point. can't sprint anymore what is that about yeah no yeah look I think you know I think what really got us was that football that we did I think mm. that was really got me you can't go full speed no and but but if you think about it if we were like professional athletes right now we'd be almost done we'd be almost it depends what sport but I yeah. mean no, let's we'd not be get close. old before our time. Like if we were like football players, since we're not quarterbacks, yeah, we'd be we'd be close. Yeah, to, nobody would want to give us a new contract. No, we'd be close to going out. Damn, that stinks. Yeah, that stinks so bad. It's insane. Yeah, like when I think like Saquon Barkley's younger than me. Right. Come on. Kawhi Leonard's the same age as us. What? Yeah, dog. Like Paul George, he's like one year older than us. What? Yes, he's been rich for. Dang. 14 years. Dang. Yeah, he seems like a grown ass man. Yeah, I seem dog. Like a little, I feel we like are a little boy. Old. I'm but an yo, old little boy. Yo, are you hyped for football? I am hyped for football. I'm hyped too. It's this crazy year. like how much how much happiness football brings me in my whole life. You know what I mean? Like the whole week, I'm just uh, everything. I'm just ha- I'm a happy guy. I don't care about all my problems about not having health insurance. It's it, <laughs> football makes it all better. You know? Yeah. You never like, I was this past weekend, my roommate was out of town. I, I was bored. You know, you know, I'm, I don't drink. I'm trying not to drink as much. Yeah. So I was just like, I had nothing to do. And I was like, if there was a football game on right now, be I would chilling. be euphoric. I would be so good. No problems. Instead, I'm driving myself crazy. You never know what's going to happen. There's narratives. There's storylines. Yeah. It's just, it's just all good. Chiefs are going to win again, so I don't really care. No, they're not. Yo, that, that dude is too good, dog. P my homies? Yeah, bro. He's too good. I don't know. I think there might be some challengers. No. I think the New York Giants might surprise some people. Look out. I think Daniel Jones, comeback player of the year. No. Mm-hmm. You're a Dimes. Giants fan? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You're, oh, no that, you're delusional. That is stupid to say. That, was, <laughs> that is horrible, bro. Bro sucks, dog. Danny Dimes? He's had a rough couple. He's had a rough year. Yeah, he's rough 18 months. No, no, he, he started. 2022, he was a baller. He made the playoffs, won a game. You ever see that picture of his legs? Put up numbers? No. Yeah, yeah, he's husky. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's been working out this uh, this offseason. He looks jacked, and he's got a big beard now, too. I love a glow. I love a male glow up. Whoa. You know, when a guy comes back. You know what my one of my favorite things is is you know when you watch a TV show and like one of the characters goes away for a while and then they come back looking all haggard, I love that. You know, you love male glow ups. That's what I heard. Yeah. Mm. 
<laughs> Whatever. Right. I do. Who's had a male glow up? Daniel Jones. Grew a big beard. He looks like a man now. Okay. But basically a male glow up, all it is is you grow a beard. You grow a beard. Okay. That's all it is. Yeah. It's or you like cut your beard. Maybe or you cut it. Yeah. I don't know. It just would, involves facial hair. Would, would you get um would you get um Do you think you'll ever go clean shaven again? No. Mm-mm. That's interesting to think about. Would you? I don't I probably will just because I do things on impulse so much. Girls hate it when I do. I always get feedback to don't do it. But um I have a good face though. But I just you need to stop bragging. Just look better with a beard. Um, yes. um would you ever get yes. um what's the stuff you shoot in your forehead? Botox? But you, yeah, would you ever do that? Dude, I I was at the coffee shop the other day. And this lady who had an insane amount of Botox, like a what the hell did you do to your face amount of Botox. And she kept taking selfies mm. like this. And it was sad. sad it was so right? sad. The, the lips are what the lips Just get me. Like, I, I don't know why, but for the whole time I was thinking, like, imagine if that was your mom. I don't know why I thought that. Mm. And I would just be like, you poor woman. Yeah, you poor, poor woman. I don't think you would care if it was your mom. I think you'd just be used to it. I think you would just understand that that's what it but is. But I just would have no respect for her. Is my point? None. Okay. I don't think. I don't know if that's true. But would it's just, you? No, it's just true. Would you get Botox? No. Really? Never, never, never. never. But I'm talking about people that get the amount of plastic surgery that you just like. That's the first thing you notice about them. Yeah. Is if you were describing them in a story, you'd be like the lady with the plastic surgery. Yeah. Like the lips, the big lips. Oh my god, I hate yeah. them. I just, I don't know. It's sad. Lips. It's sad. But you, why would you get plastic surgery or Botox? Um, I don't know if I would get Botox. Um, probably not. I, I feel like you don't need it as men. No, no, no. You don't need it, but you know, you can get like wrinkles that are annoying. I'm not afraid of nothing. I, I'm starting to go bald a little bit. I got a little, yeah, a little spot, a little spot back there. Is what it is. Yeah, my hairline's crooked. I, mean, I, ain't, I ain't lose no sleep over it. My hairline's been crooked since I've been like a kid, though, so I think I might just be chilling. It like got a little wave, got a little swoop. Nah, it's on pretty good. Side. You got a, you got, you got good hair. Thank you. I don't know if you would know, because you know, I can you just tell you about you know, black people. It's thick. Whoa. It's thick. Yeah. All right, we're coming up on time. Coming up on time, I think we got one more thing. Okay, what do you want to talk about? All right, things most people agree on are true that you don't. Oh, that's I was talking about the uh, spinning earth thing. The spinning earth thing. Okay. Most people accept that as fact. I do not. Okay. I do not accept. I don't think the earth is actually spinning. Bill Nye. Oh, and I also hate Bill Nye the science guy. I think a lot of people would defend Bill Nye the science guy. You know he's not even a scientist. His degree is in engineering. Oh, really? And then he walks around calling himself Bill Nye the science guy. He's a big dork. Yeah, fuck Bill Nye. I hate Bill Nye. I don't like that shit. Bill Nye's on site. You know, do you have Netflix? Mm-hmm. Have you been watching Netflix recently? Do you have it with ads? No. You don't? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the, so the food competition between Kobayashi and, uh, Kobayashi and uh, the other guy that eats the hot dogs? Joey Chestnut? Joey Chestnut, yeah. Well, first off, that's, they need to just let that go. Nobody's going to care about that. What? That The food eating competition. No Everyone gonna, cares about the hot dog eating contest. Wait, you, oh, so you're you're like locked in? Like you're gonna like on Fourth of July? Sure. Yeah, but it's not it's Fourth of July. They're doing it live. Oh like no, soon. people are going to watch that. You think so? I think I will watch that if I if I if, can. If you see the ad, watch the ad. It's the worst. They're like Kobayashi. It's some dude that really sounds like that. Like he's trying so hard. Watch the ad. I don't it's crazy. Like to that. be a competitive eater, I can't imagine making that just your life's purpose. I cannot imagine. I can't imagine. <laughs> Just getting feeling getting to the pearly gates. And like as you know, Christians, we believe that you have that like moment with God where he kind of like evaluates your life. And if you're Joey Chestnut and God's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I see here you decided to devote your life to eating hot dogs. Damn. That's what you uh, chose to give you. with. That's what you chose to do with the precious gift of life I gave you. Not that I'm doing anything better. I just... No, you are. I can't imagine making that my life's work. You are, and this is what I was going to say earlier. Shit's about to get deep. Okay. Shit, we need to make this a segment. Deep 
Deep Philosophy with Clyde Mack. I love it. Oh, man, I want to get in on this. So, you know, you said you have a conversation with God. So first of all, I want to just make sure that I'm giving back to the earth. Okay. I want to make sure that I'm giving back to people. But the main thing that I was thinking is that I think that comedians were like lightning bugs. We're the lightning bugs of the earth. You know, or a light in a dark room. Yeah, like just like that's what that's what we bring to the earth. Like when like you go outside, it's dark, and you see a lightning bug. Oh, it's a lightning bug. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it like it makes it, you happy. Yeah, it makes you happy. It gives you this feeling. So I think that comedians are like the lightning bugs of the earth, and I think that we are very necessary. Yeah, let your light so shine before men. That's our calling. Yeah, that's why we're here. So you know, I hope so. Making I it. hope I'm doing the right thing. You are. We just gotta forget. We just gotta forget making it. We gotta for, we gotta forget. Yeah, I'm about that. We gotta forget comparing ourselves to other people. Mm-hmm. And what we gotta do is we gotta say something, no matter who it's in front of. We're at an open mic. We're in front of these people. Like we need to take all the pressure off of ourselves because that's not what we are. And first off, we're not just comedians. You're not just a comedian. You have way more things that that make you you than just being a comic. And uh, we just identify with being a comic so much it takes over our lives. We don't have that much time to live we have to like make sure we're enjoying other things and and like becoming like a full like getting our full lives except for just you know being slave to to Mm. just one thing i love that so thank you for saying that i feel like like i i want to stop calling myself a comedian because for a while i would only identify myself as a comedian i'd be like i'm a comedian but I'm I'm way more than a comedian. Mm-hmm. I'm you know I'm I, I'm a deep thinker. I like to I like to help people. I like to you know I like to motivate people. I like to you know create other art. You like to dance. Like I, when when I thought of Clyde, I thought of comedian. And that's that's not that's not all I am. I love that. You're going on a little journey. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. You want to know? You got I, your head in the clouds, you, I, but it's a good thing. You you want to know? Yeah, I think it's a good thing. You want to know what what started it? What Trump getting shot at? Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah, that made like, you think that we're this is all fake. <laughs> yeah, I was I was like I was like this this isn't real. <laughs> this is this is all it's all too perfect. Uh, yeah, but yeah, what's up with you wearing long sleeves this summer too? That was crazy. You don't you wear a lot of long sleeves. It's hot outside. It's eighty five. Don't worry about what I wear. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you won. <laughs> You won that one. I don't want. I don't want people to get jealous of my big arms. So, okay, I hide them. I'm like the. I'm like the girl who's like a librarian, and she looks like a dork, but she's really secretly hot. That's me <laughs> with my long sleeve shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to trick you into thinking I don't got nothing. You're going off real Eric B right now. Everyone keeps saying that. Really, Every, everybody that walks into Greenwich is like, "What's up, Eric?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Ridiculous. That's good. Whatever. It be what it be. Hey, that's the Mac. This is the Hawk. The Mac. The Mac, the Hawk. We're Don't forget back. what Clyde said. Yeah. Be well. God bless. It was good. I probably changed my mind about everything I just said. 